So, what motivates you on starting an art piece? It's a, it's a question that a lot of artists ask because it's a very difficult question to answer. I mean, how do you sit down and actually start to draw? Well, this is actually going to be something I'm going to have to answer through multiple videos whenever the subject comes up. The reason I'm drawing right now, in fact, the reason you see the picture being drawn at the moment, it's because I'm actually in a uh, art off. It is just basically me and another artist are choosing a topic and we are drawing what we feel with it. The guy who I'm drawing with is my friend, so the rules are very lax. It's basically hit the deadline and you're good. It could be a sketch. It could be a full piece. I decided to go full piece this time. Just have some fun with it. But it's a great motivation because you and someone else are able to gather the energy off each other to be able to go out and just pull something out. I mean, it doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be bad as long as you're drawing. As long as you are drawing, then you know you are improving. It's just one of those keys to consistently getting better and better and better is to never stop. To keep doing it because even if you go through 50 to 100 really bad, horrible sketches and all that other nonsense that seems to happen a lot as an artist, or as anything, honestly, whenever you're doing something you never think you're good enough, the artist is his own harshest critic. And you just have to push through that and when you do, you actually improve and you get really, really good. I mean, I've actually watched some of the artists who I really admire all just consistently draw every single day, it seems. And I'm in awe of how they could keep up with it. I mean, I have the attention span of a gnat. I barely am able to keep going with anything that I'm trying to do. It's just, you gotta keep at it. And uh, the motivation of jumping off of the energy of a friend is a great way to do it, especially if you do an art off, because then you could see you and what the other person is doing. And it's just really fun, because you could compliment each other, critique each other, and do a whole bunch of other extra stuff. So that's just one of the uh, small tips to do if you're trying to find motivation. It's just find someone else who wants to do it with you. The other way to do it is just to set a schedule for yourself. Just sit down and be like at, I don't know, 8 o'clock every day. Put everything down, pull out the sketchbook, and do a 10-minute drawing. Or I'm going to draw an arm. I'm going to draw a hand. I'm going to draw five different face shapes. No details inside. Just something. As long as you are doing something every single day, you are going to improve. You will see yourself get better. Trust me, it's just, that is the key to getting better at art. It's just doing it. I mean, it's like the Shia LaBeouf thing. Just do it! I, it's, it's as weird and stupid as it is, it's very true. That's all you have to do to get better at something. It takes a while. It takes you a long time sometimes, depending on how much natural talent you have in you. Well, how The way your mind works. I do not run this way, so it's taken me a very long time to get as good as I am. But you know what? I'm really happy I'm here, and I know that as long as I keep doing this, I'm just going to get better. So it's just something I want to answer to anyone who ever has this question. If you are really struggling and really feeling like, oh, I just don't want to do this today, well, that's what you do. Even though you just don't feel like doing it, just sit down and scribble something. I don't care what. You could draw yourself, I don't know, a stick man jumping out of a hat. That's like a really stupid idea. I could say other things, but it's not very appropriate for YouTube. If you know what my meaning is. I don't know, have fun with it. Make something stupid. Make something really good. Make something that's just something. I mean, I have a number of pictures, which every time I draw, people are like, what were you on? And I love those pictures. I've actually gotten one of those pictures, and it sold. The, it is my best seller at all the conventions I have sold art at. Is one of these really stupid 30 seconds. Boom, it's out. And everyone wants it. <laughs> it's it's just so it's funny how the stupid stuff is what becomes popular, and the things that you like sit down and spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and doing, that's what's overlooked. <laughs> it's just the uh, really funny yet frustrating part of the art world. It's there's no explanation to it. It's just it's just how it is. So just go, have fun. Don't don't be serious with all this stuff. I mean, you could do some really serious art pieces, but if you take yourself too seriously, it's not going to be any fun. And then what is the point of doing art if it's not fun? It's my big question. It's I don't understand a lot of these people who come out and they're just, ugh, just, I have to do this. Ugh. I have to make an impact in the world. I have to do this. If I don't, everything will burn and die. What's with those people? Those people are just weird. They're the killjoys in the art world is what they are. Again, that's all I'm saying is just go out, have fun, and just do it. Go out, draw. I don't care what you're doing. I mean, as long as you keep doing it, you're going to improve. And I have seen so many brand new artists who have given this advice to, and they follow it much better than I do, funny enough. And they have gotten so good. It's, it's inspiring, and it's just really funny how that happens. Just these artists have surpassed me way, way much better than I am. It's, again, just the way things go. <laughs> but you know what? As long as you keep trucking there, you're going to make it to the finish line. Even if that finish line is making that perfect picture, which I don't think any of us ever will do. And you know what? I'm fine with that. 
<laughs> uh, thank you for watching this video too. Hope you enjoyed the Nightly Temptations picture of the live stream on Tuesday night. So hopefully I will see you in the next live stream or I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful night.